Hey everyone and welcome to Light Sirens Action. Today you've tuned in on a Medication Monday. Medication Monday is a quick little mini series that airs every single Monday where we go over a different EMS drug that's administered out in the field. And we do this specifically in EMT drug card format. But as always, please abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. Today's drug is called acetyl salicylic acid. And for the purposes of this video and my sanity, we're going to be referring to it as its brand name, which is aspirin. Aspirin falls under the class of an antiplatelet agent or an anti-inflammatory inflammatory agent. So what does aspirin do in the body? The mechanism of action, it's going to prevent platelet aggregation, which platelet aggregation is just simply platelets clumping together. It also has antipyretic and analgesic properties. So your indications for aspirin are going to be a new onset of chest pain from a suspected cardiac origin. Before I tell you the dose for aspirin, I just want to be sure that you guys know to abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. Your dose is going to be 81 milligram to 325 milligram tablets, and they're typically chewable. So for pediatric, this is not suggested at all. It is not recommended. Your contraindications for aspirin are going to be bleeding disorders or active ulcer disease, also hypersensitivity to NSAIDs, and aspirin intolerant asthma. So this obviously goes back to following your local protocol because there are some protocols that it does not matter if they have an ulcer or not. They want them to treat the chest pain. So always follow your local protocol. Your adverse reactions could be prolonged bleeding, GI bleeding, a bronchospasm, epigastric distress, nausea, vomiting, heartburn, and possibly Rye syndrome. And I'll touch on Rye syndrome a little bit more in the next slide. It is given either in a 81 milligram, 160 milligram, or 325 milligram chewable tablet. I know personally with my service, uh, we carry the 81 milligram tablets, so it takes four of those to give our max dose, which actually ends up being 324 milligrams. Some side notes about aspirin. So be sure to administer if there's a complaint of chest pain that is not from an obvious trauma. If your patient just got into a car accident and you know has chest pain from where the seat belt kind of pulled on them, this is typically not going to be your patient that you're going to administer aspirin to because their pain is most likely from the trauma itself. But not all myocardial infarctions are really obvious on an EKG. So if a patient has chest pain and you're suspecting that it's cardiac related, regardless of what the EKG says, treat your patient's complaint. Also, you want to consider aspirin allergies. They're very, very rare, but they do exist. And so always ask the patient if they have any allergies. Do not administer under any circumstances aspirin to children. It can cause Rye syndrome. Rye syndrome is a very serious condition that involves the swelling of the brain. It can cause brain and liver damage and sometimes even death. If you're looking to get more information about Rye syndrome itself, I would suggest you tune into uh, Master Your Medics podcast. They just did, I think, a three or four part series about this specific syndrome and it was fascinating. So if you, if you want to learn more about it, I would suggest tuning into their podcast. All right, Bayer once had the brand name Aspirin trademarked but they lost their trademark in many different countries. That's why you hear aspirin used almost as if it's the medication's generic name and not its brand name. As always, please remember to abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. This is purely informational for those that are in the EMS field, and it is never ever meant to be used in place of your local protocol. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Bye!